definitely an interesting feeling. I'm taking the VR4 around the block. Just uh, I haven't driven it so long and I want some all-wheel drive goodness. But I also want to see how much quicker it is without any panels on. I still want to take the hatch off, but uh, it's a very weird feeling with no door because usually my knee like hits the door. I put the, the seat belt and everything back in and uh, the, the factory seat because the brides didn't have any brackets yet. So I don't want it to be too sketchy. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go take it for uh, a little rip and uh, we'll see if it's any quicker than it was before. No views, nothing, this thing's crazy. It's actually quite a bit faster. Surprisingly, I guess the doors weigh like 500 pounds together and you know, the hatch weighs some, I uh, can't wait to take that off, but all the glass is gone and uh, that's kind of crazy. So it sounds like uh, it has a slight lifter tick from uh, probably sitting for like almost a year, but uh, you know, I'll put 99 lifters, 99 lifters in here eventually. I mean, probably it'll go away if I drive it around, but uh, this thing is actually pretty quick without all the stuff on it. And it's kind of fun to drive just because it's all open. I uh, really want to pull the hatch off. And uh, it seemed like once I got to uh, like 130, it uh, was doing weird stuff. I think it's because the air was catching the hatch because it was like blowing a bunch of stuff around. But uh, I don't know, it's, it's actually pretty, pretty interesting. some red line rips I uh, took it for like uh, I kind of did like a semi launch almost like a, a first gear dig I was kind of rolling but uh, took it up to like red line every time hitting 14 psi it's actually uh, yeah it sounds really good now the lifter doesn't have any tick so that's actually pretty dope so now it sounds all good again and uh, it's not making that clicky clacky noise and uh, I want to take the hatch off it's uh, definitely a lot faster than it was. I mean, this thing rips. So today I'm gonna be doing some stuff to my truck. I uh, wanna clean the interior, clean the uh, carpet and the seats. And I also want to uh, hook the sub up in it. I've had it in for probably a month or so with, you know, I, I just have it set in there, but I, I wanna hook it up so I can, uh, you know, so I could use it and uh, you know, then the interior will be clean. I'll probably wash the outside and detail the engine bay. It uh, definitely kind of has been getting neglected, but uh, I think I should, you know, I'll put some time into it today and uh, make it nice.
Okay, so I got the carpet clean, the seat's clean. Uh, now I'm gonna pull the, I have to pull this dash around off to uh, get the, the wires all connected to the back of the stereo. And uh, then I need to run a power wire to uh, the battery to for the amp. But yeah, looks, uh, came out a lot cleaner than it was. And uh, hopefully there was like a sweat stain on the seat and it's been here like the whole time I've had it. So hopefully I finally got it out. It kind of looks like it's not there anymore. And a lot of brown stuff came out when I vacuumed it. But uh, I don't know, hopefully. I need to get a new windshield. I'm gonna, I have insurance, so it's like 50 bucks for a new windshield. So I'll probably do that this week. Have it like tinted. I'll probably tint the wind, these like side windows and uh, you know, and then it'll be all nice and have a new windshield. And uh, I don't know. I uh, need to still put the floor mats in and then I still haven't cleaned the outside. I'll probably do that maybe tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But I'm just glad that the carpet and seats are clean and the subs connected, all the good stuff. Okay, so I just got done at the orthodontist. I'm gonna go over to the car wash, wash the truck, and uh, then I need to go up to Springs to grab the intake manifold, but I forgot the fuel rails, so I'm gonna have to go back to the house and grab those and then uh, and then head up because I want to make sure uh, what size injectors will fit on those uh, those rails before I go and you know order order injectors. So get pretty close. Uh, I'm gonna take the intake manifold, the anodizer, and some other stuff. So we'll we'll see what happens. At the car wash, I uh, you know I'm lazy today. I was thinking about hand washing it, waxing it, but then I didn't. So. Nice buff. Okay, so just picked up the intake manifold from the polisher. I'm going to take it over to the anodizer with a bunch of other stuff. I did drop off the RB intake manifold so he could polish that as well. Uh, but I am pretty excited on how it came out. It looks really good. I uh, just can't wait to have it on the car and, uh, you know, anodizing it clear to uh, make it so it doesn't actually have any issues with, uh, you know, water spots and stuff like that, that normal polish stuff normal polish that we're gonna pass. Okay, so here is the intake manifold. A close-up, kinda. Kind of a close-up. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks really good. It uh, definitely looks better than cast crap. So now I'm at this place called Zimpac, and uh, they are, I guess, the only place that can anodize stuff or something. But uh, I'm gonna take this in there, and hopefully they could, uh, you know, get it cleared and get all my other fittings done and I could get the RX-7 back going. So just leaving the place right now, I uh, dropped the intake manifold off and uh, some of the other stuff. The uh, LS fuel rails and uh, what else? Some of the fittings, they had like a little bit of uh, like residue when I stripped them with the uh, oven cleaner. So I need to take a little bit of emery cloth and clean that up. They said that it would show in the uh the actual fittings he uh actually etched one for me so i could see it uh it wasn't that noticeable but i definitely don't want to have like a little haze in there so i'm gonna pretty much clean them up and then bring them back she said a week for uh it to get anodized so the, the air, like seven things are being cleared another uh five things are being black and then uh what else and then uh, a, a secret color, I changed the FD color scheme. I wanted to do uh, gold, but uh, I I don't know, I might still do gold. I'm still coating the, uh, you know, a, a few of the things gold, but I uh, definitely am coating a bunch of other stuff, the other color. So you can see the FD, the tires on here are, uh, you know, they're not that, I guess they're pretty bald on the inside because the, uh, they came off an Evo and uh, they were like cambered out. So, uh, I mean, they're uh, not bad, but you know, it's not worth chance. This is what I got for it. I got these uh, Nittos, the, they're the in Invos or in Invo or whatever. And uh, you know, they're supposed to be really good uh, track tires, rain tires, and uh, you know, pretty much all around, they're supposed to be a good tire. 
I guess this big channel right here is for uh, water, for rain, and I guess it also, like, as you accelerate, these, like, little sipes and everything help you gain traction. So I'm gonna put these on. Okay, loaded the wheels and tires up. Now off to put them on. <laughs> So literally uh, wasted my time at Big O Tires for uh, like two hours and uh, I finally just took my wheels and tires. I'll just have my friend mount them for me because the only reason I, I take them places when they're on stuff like the FD or the Volvo is because I like to get them road forced. And uh, since he was busy today, I was like, well, I might as well just you know go over to Big O because they have the same machine. But obviously they're incompetent, so you know now I have to do it tomorrow and waste probably another two hours of my time. So that's it for this video. I am excited that the FD intake manifold is finally polished. I can't wait to get it back from the anodizer and put it on the car. I just needed to do a few more things. I need to get some more stuff anodized, uh, like little fittings and stuff. I probably will end up taking those maybe tomorrow or the next day. And uh, you know, things are coming together. I'm probably gonna end up putting the tires on tomorrow, take them over to my friend and have him do those. And uh, you know, just, just a lot of random other stuff. It just, you know, just takes time. It just seems like it takes so much longer to do stuff in uh, Pueblo. It's, it's almost like hard to get stuff done. So, uh, and even in Springs, I feel like if you go up to Denver, uh, it's a little bit better. But I mean, when I was up in Minnesota, uh, is sad as I am to say it because I didn't like Minnesota that much. There's so much manufacturing in Minnesota that I mean, I dropped something off to the anodizer, it was done the next day, or I dropped something off to the machine shop, it was done the next day. So just kind of hard in Colorado, I think uh, machining wise, because there's not a huge industry to uh, you know kind of support it. And then also on the downside is when there is a huge industry, to support it then they don't want to do small jobs so i don't know if it's you know it, it just takes time for it to get everything done it, it took like a week to no it took almost three i think almost three weeks to have the intake manifold polished it'll take another week to have it anodized so like three to four weeks like all all said and done to actually be able to put the intake manifold that it ordered that took like a, like a week and a half to come you know, so that's that's like almost two months right there, just on intake manifold. So uh, you know, it's it's kind of difficult to you know orchestrate everything. So it it like happens on time, and I'm kind of getting better with it. You know, YouTube is kind of people want to see things done like right away. That's why I think Vias for Build kind of just kind of does stuff shoddy, so it just gets done. But uh, you know. I uh, am pretty pumped to drive the FD again, especially retuned with more power. I, I just can't wait. So if you like the videos, click the subscribe button, comment below. Also click that bell to get notifications. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.